hello guys welcome back to my channel the last update about this of it ramru blamed prachi for hiding her pregnancy from him and ramru also believes that prachi's baby is for sedat and ramru also supported palavi that sedat and prachi should get married to each other so let's continue from there alia collides with someone while going in a hurry the guy asks if she got hot she says no and she asks if the guy got hot and the guy says no grandma thinks that since when did alia become so sweet Ria comes to Alia and says, You said that you would undo Sidat. Alia says to Ria that I am going out, and she tells her that you are afraid that Sidat will tell the truth. Ria says, Yes, Sidat will tell the truth to someone. Grandma tries to hear them. Alia and Ria sees Grandma listening to their conversation, and they call Grandma to come inside. Grandma asks Alia and Ria that what are you both talking about? Alia says, You must have heard it. Grandma says she couldn't hear anything. Ria asks Alia to go. Alia leaves. Grandma thinks to find out what they are planning. Shahana tells Arian that Ramru might have agreed with the family member's decision, but his sadness is reflecting through his eyes. Arian says to Shahana that I will talk to Ramru. Arian asks Ramru, Will you like to drink water? Shahana offers water to Prachi. Prachi says, My fear came true. Ramru says to Arian that I was scared that I will lose everything and it is already happening. Shahana says to Prachi that eyes can be betrayed. Prachi says she doesn't know what to do. Shahana asks Prachi to trust her love. Prachi says the people will try to separate us and says she knows how Ria is, but why did Sida do this with her? Ramru says to Arian that when Prachi needed me, Sida became a support. Arian says Prachi is with you now. Ramru says the third person have come between them and the reason is the baby coming into this world. Prachi says I cannot do anything when Rambro has accepted this. Rambro looks at Prachi and he goes from there. Arian comes back to Rambro and asks him to relax. Rambro says you said right, I should relax. The bad face is going on in my life, which I should be fine. I am overreacting that my love and my wife is marrying someone else and the someone else is also my brother. Rambro says to Arian that Prachi's baby is not mine, but the baby belongs to my brother. Ramru says I was afraid to lose Prachi and this thing is happening with me. Sedat is taking Prachi from here. Ramru comes to the room and he punches on the punching bag, thinking about Prachi. Ramru recalls their moment together and their marriage. He vent out his anger on the punching bag. Grandma follows Aliyah and comes to the hotel. Grandma thinks that who are the men that Aliyah is meeting secretly. Grandma assumes that Aliyah is coding the men and they are behaving as if they are a servant. She comes inside the hotel. Shaina comes to the function and asks Ria that what does she want to say. Ria says there is a good news and Ria tells Shaina that the marriage is happening. Shaina asks with whom. Ria says Prachi is getting married to Sidat. Shaina says to Ria that Sidat was your husband. Ria says he was my husband. Shaina says Rambu lost Prachi a lot. Ria says since Rambu came to know that Prachi is pregnant with Sida's child, then Rambu ate Prachi. Shaina laughs. Alia calls Ria on the phone and asks her to reach the hotel with Sidat. Ria thinks of how to take Sidat away from there and she gets an idea. Arian asks Rambu to stop it. Rambu eats Arian and he falls. Prachi comes there and asks, why did you eat Arian? Arian says, I will get burnt in his anger fire, but I will not let anything happen to him. Prachi asks, why are you doing this? Rambro asks Prachi to go and says he doesn't want to talk to her. Prachi says this is happening as we don't talk. Vikram comes there and he tells Rambro that he has no right on Prachi now because Prachi would get married to Siddharth soon. Vikram asks Prachi to go because he needs to do a man-to-man -man talk with Rambro. Prachi says I will not marry Siddharth. Rambro says you have to marry Siddharth and he goes. Prachi says let me undo this and he goes. Aliyah comes to the hotel room and she tells the goons that nobody should know about her. She says she would call Ria. Aliyah senses that someone is outside and she asks the goons to go and check who is outside. She asks them to switch off the light. Grandma hides. The goons come out and check, but they couldn't find anyone and they go back inside. Sedat asks Ria, why did you bring me here? Ria asks Sedat to be quiet for some time. Sedat says, I cannot call you stone-hearted as you don't even have a heart. Ria says, I have a heart, else this wouldn't have happened. Sidat says, I wish I wouldn't have met you. Ria says to Sidat that my heart is broken, 
and says, You have love at first sight with me, but I never loved you. Sidat says, I know you love Rambro. Ria says, Rambro is my love, and she pushes Sidat into the room. Sidat says his sister tied down, and he shouted, Mihika. Aliyah says to Sidat that your sister is alive, but it depends on you to determine until when she will be alive. Vikram asks Rambro to hear him. Rambro says, I know what is right and wrong. I should think about Prachi's future and the baby. And when I think this, I realize that Prachi is going to become someone else's wife. Rambro says to Vikram that this thing is not easy for me. Vikram asks Rambro and says, I know. Vikram asks Rambro to talk to grandma and take some advice from her to make his life simple. Rambro says, I had asked from God to give me Prachi's support and I am not getting it. Aryan tells Prachi that Rambro loves her a lot. Prachi gives Aryan first aid box and says Rambro's love couldn't do anything and she asks Aryan to help Rambro. Aryan says only you can help him. Prachi says sometimes you get stuck and our relationship went through rough times and it was delicate to get broken and she asks Aryan to bandage Rambro's hand. Aryan asks Prachi that what happened that Rambro is bleeding. Prachi says that it is Rambro's heart that is bleeding. Prachi asks Aryan to be with Rambro and bandage his hand and says he doesn't know what he is doing. At the hotel, Aliyah threatens Sidat. Ria says show his sister's face to him so that he can feel the real fear. Sidat says leave her. Aliyah says why did we kidnap her if we wanted to leave her? The goons come inside and says nobody is outside. Aliyah slaps the goon. Grandma thinks that she knows that Aliyah did not come to the hotel for business meeting. The goon tells Aliyah that there's truly nobody outside. Aliyah slaps the goon and says, when I talk, then I only talk and ask them to go out and let the brother and sister meet. Ria says, let's focus on the work. Aliyah asks if you wouldn't have gotten angry if someone interrupted you. The goon says, sorry. Ria slaps the goons for cutting her words. Grandma comes near the door. The goon comes outside. Grandma hides. Siddharth asks Ria and Aliyah to let his sister go. Ria says, you are ruining our work. Aliyah pretends to stab Siddharth's sister. Siddharth played in front of them to leave his sister and he promised that he would not do anything. Ria says to Aliyah that Siddharth is folding his hands in front of them, so what should we do? Siddharth falls down on Ria's feet and pleads for forgiveness and says, I will not tell anyone. Aliyah says he is crying in reality and speaking the truth. Ria says, well done, Sidat. We don't trust on anyone. Aliyah says to Sidat that you are not going to do anything with your sister. Ria says, we are going to keep your sister with us for some days. Aliyah says, just as Sidat and Prachi get married and Prachi lives with Sidat, then Sidat's sister will be freed. Aliyah asks Sidat to marry Prachi at the earliest and asks him to go from this room after 20 minutes, else his sister can be in trouble. Ria threatens Sidat's sister and says if he shout, then my aunt's friend, the owner of this hotel, will not let any problem come, and she asks her to zip her lips. Ria asks Aliyah how they will take Mehika away from the hotel. Aliyah says we will take her out from the back door. Ria says she should befriend the police too. Aliyah says she will. They come out of the room with Sida's sister. Grandma sees the goons from far and she thinks that what is happening, who is this girl? She thinks that the men are like goons type. But who is this girl? Ria stops and tells Aliyah that she would be back. Grandma thinks if Ria is coming here, Grandma sits down on the floor. Ria pretends as if she did not see anyone and says, I thought that someone is here, but thank God that nobody is here. Ria says, let's go, and she comes to Aliyah, and she secretly tells Aliyah that Grandma is here. She asks Aliyah to tell her goons to kidnap Grandma. Aliyah says if Grandma goes missing, then the marriage will be cancelled. Ria says to Aliyah that if Grandma goes home, then she will tell everyone about us. She says if Grandma had taken Meika's picture and then Vikram and Palavi would ask us, then what are we going to say? Grandma thinks to follow them. Aliyah calls the goons. Ria tells the goons that there is an old lady there and she asks him to do something so that the old lady can get memory loss. The goon says to Aliyah that we can only kidnap Grandma. Ria says kidnap her then. She asks Aliyah to make a story that Grandma went to her pain and asks her to tell a story. She says we will blackmail Grandma to lie and says for now, we cannot take a risk. Aliyah asks the goons to kidnap the old lady 
and says that they will take the girl out. The goons walk towards Grandma. Grandma thinks that they have seen me. I should call Rambro. Grandma calls Rambro. Rambro says Grandma is calling. Vikram says Grandma would only scold us that we are not downstairs and he says we should go downstairs. So Rambro did not pick the call. Rambro sees Prachi and he stops. Vikram says Prachi, Rambro had an injury. You should please bandage his hand. Prachi says Aryan will do it. Vikram says okay and he goes. Aryan asks Prachi what to do and say, I don't know. Rambro drops his phone on the floor. Prachi says you couldn't even hold your phone. I know you are hot due to your carelessness. Rambro asks Prachi not to scold him. Prachi says if you are careless, then you will be scolded. Rambro says I don't want your fake concern. Prachi says you are very careless and you don't see the normal things. She says stop being careless and stupid and she asks him to come inside. Rambro is hesitant and he stands on the same place. Prachi leaves his hand and goes inside. Grandma thinks that Rambro is not picking her call. She runs and enters a room and locks the room. The goons knock on the door and ask her to open the door. Grandma asks God to protect her and thinks that nobody knows that I am here. She thinks that why did I become Karamchad and thinks to become Krish. She runs out of the window. The goons breaks the door and goes behind Grandma. Ria, Aliyah and Sida's sister comes to the road. Ria says, where did I park the car? Aliyah says, please don't panic and she asks her to calm down. Ria asks that when will everything be calm? Aliyah says if you want to think negative, then think it all day. Ria says to Aliyah that why do you lecture me always and says it is not necessary to answer me always. Aliyah says I am saying the fact here. She says you will be scared and then you will make the situation scared. She asks her to think positive. Sida's sister sees Aliyah and Ria talking. Ria says grandma has run away. Aliyah says she will be found and says I will make everything fine. Ria says this is a disaster. If your men don't search for grandma, then she will reach home. Aliyah says we will go home and we will hire the servant to keep an eye on her just as she enters. Then the servant will inform us and we will tackle her. Ria says to Aliyah that I am sorry and she hugs her. Aliyah says this is not a new thing and she asks her to trust her. Aliyah says she will be back to pavilion again. Meika runs away. Ria runs behind her and Aliyah falls down. Ria says sorry and runs behind Mihika while Aliyah sits in the car. Rambro says to Prachi that I am fine and I don't need your help. Prachi says I am saying that. Rambro says you are not saying anything. It is too much. Rambro sits beside Prachi. Prachi asks Rambro to bear it if it burns. Rambro says I am bearing a lot and he asks will you leave me? Prachi says I did not leave you. You have left me. She cleans Rambro's injury with the dead toe. Rambro looks at Prachi and he recalls his promise to her. Rambro also recalls Sidat saying that he is the father of Prachi's baby. Rambro pours the dead toe on his hand. Prachi says it might be burning much. Rambro says my heart is burning. My mind, my soul, my dreams and desires are burning. Everything is smoke and we cannot see each other. Rambro says to Prachi that I am bearing pain and there is no medicine for this pain. Prachi says you are bearing the pain because you are listening to someone else. Rambu says, I am angry that Sidat was with you when you needed me. Rambu says, I have promised your child that I will give both parents love to your child and I will still give it. Prachi asks Rambu to listen to her. Rambu says, whenever I did not listen to my parents, then I get out. I will do what they want this time. Prachi holds Rambu's hand and asks, will you really want to go away from me? Do you want to leave my support? Rambo says to Prachi that that doesn't mean that love is over. I would always love you, but I will not stay with you. Rambo says I will think about your baby and your happiness. Rambo says I will just pray that you should stay happy with whoever you want. Just be happy. Okay guys, thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and I will see you all again in my next video. Thank you.